it could be used for finger preparation as well if you if you have lips okay for example second measure with the right hand So right away when you when you release this A, we move right away to the next note. Okay, don't play it yet, but uh, wait for the turn. Okay, wait wait for the right next beat. Okay, and when we are waiting, we prepare this hand for the next position. Okay, okay after this A. There are various notes below A. So when I play this A, I own, I'm already prepared with my fingering. Okay, that's the way to actually to choose the fingering. Choose the fingering according to position. Okay, uh, if if the if you need to use a thumb, then you need to to use it when there is scalar passages or or arpeggios. Okay, but usually usually we try to avoid thumb on the sharp keys okay for the pedaling if you're wondering uh, what kind of pedaling you should use in the baroque music like this we should avoid using a heel just always play with the toe okay and it's very easy here uh, the pattern here <coughs> play left right right left left right right left left with the toe of course okay and uh, and of course keep in contact with the pedals all the time okay never lift the entire foot so that brings us to the next um, uh, step uh, when we when we are sure how to pedal how to finger how to do fingering then we can uh, do and talk about the correct um, notes how to play correct notes okay that's very important if, if when you're practicing and uh, encounter various wrong notes try not to uh, jump ahead or play the piece from the beginning till the end with mistakes but always try to go back and uh, uh, correct the mistakes at least several times it's very good if you correct mistakes um, at least three times in a row good for example that's a mistake okay if I did a mistake then I I always try to correct it three times in a row at least that I made a mistake okay and then I correct it right away it, it, it doesn't matter whether it's a right uh, right hand or left hand whether it's in the pedals you always correct the mistakes that's a very strict way to play when you are encounter a problem you fix this problem and then try to never never repeat this problem again if you repeat it uh, correctly three times in a row you solve this problem and uh, it be it becomes easy okay this part so that's the way to practice correct notes okay and we talked about the fingering and pedaling now let's talk about the rhythm okay as you might know on the organ uh, very important it is to to co to be in control not only for the attack Okay. Of the of the of the chord or a note, but also of the release because uh, the organ always sounds when you press the key and the sound continues to sound. Okay, until you release. So that's why it's very very important that you control releases. What do, what do I mean by release? Release. 
So generally in the Baroque, the Baroque um, music, we uh, try not to play legato. It's, it's a touch, specific touch that we use. It's called uh, articulated legato. It's sort of cantabile playing, a very, very singing manner, vocal manner. But uh, as with uh, string players, we switch the bows, okay? We also here make little, little um, uh, distances between notes. Not too much, not non-legato. And of course, not, not, not staccato. But uh, articulated legato. I'll show you uh, what, I, uh, what I mean by that. Right hand. You see, each note has a very uh, short distance between the second and the first note. Okay, so it's very important that that you remember this and use very carefully. Because this piece is written, of course, in four voices, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. And bass is in the pedals, uh, soprano is in the right hand, and alto and uh, tenor is in the left hand. It's very important that you control especially the left hand, because, because it's the only hand that plays here two voices most of the time. So, control releases, for example, the the first measure we, we play and count one and two and three and four and one and two right here. Uh, the second measure B and uh, D goes to the interval of the fifth E to B. that you press, that we press uh, both keys simultaneously, exactly, okay, not here, that's not good, or not good, but, you see, together, and release together, not good, not good, good, okay. So very important that you also attack and release together, right at the mid. And then go to the next. Okay, that's the way we play. Uh, that's the way we play chords. Very, uh, uh, very strict and together playing. Okay, and uh, but when we we use mel melodic line, uh, we we tend to, uh, to, to play polyphonically, which means uh, the releases between the voices do not necessarily correspond. Okay? For example, the third measure in the left hand, alto and tenor, okay, right here, the alto is in uh, faster moving. But the, the 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 tenor is in eight notes. So we need to remember and play exactly as written. Okay, I'm I'm talking especially about this D sharp in the left hand, in in the tenor voice. And release this D sharp. Together, exactly together with B. Okay, so that's very important that you coordinate all the releases in alto and tenor voice together. 